Hello. <coughs> and welcome. This is your Funky Honky with Let's Play Dragon Age 2 Blind, episode 48. Well, it seems that this book is running away from me. Get. Give me, father, motherfucker. You're coming back this way. I just know it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Damn it! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you, motherfucker! Uh, I'm gonna try one more time, and if it doesn't come around again, I don't get it! Okay, fuck it. Um, anyway, clearly, since we're running at 30 FPS instead of crap that had been happening before, my, what I did worked. Yay, be happy! And, um, so anyway, yeah, we're in the fade and stuff. And, um, funny enough, I can bring my dog into the fade. <laughs> Which I have a feeling just might come in handy. Put the small barrels, put the big barrels on the ground and the small barrels in the air, maybe? That'd be my guess as to what I'm supposed to do here. Go! Yeah. So, well, I don't know if I did what I was supposed to do, but we're in a scrap now. Wow, that was... That frame rate looks and feels so nice. So anyway... Um... So I can't mess with the barrels anymore? Why not? Well, fuck, I guess what I did what I was supposed to do. Either that or I screwed it up beyond fix. So, or repair, rather. So, no matter, let's go in farther and go back into... Well, it's rare to see two forgotten magics in one day. It's usually a slow place, a fade. Not many surprises. I wasn't sure I'd like this one, but it has potential. Does it now? The demon of sloth. It exists to make men forget their purpose and their pride. Do not relax around it. Okay. Call me Torbor. I have a proposition that might interest you. No. I will not give in to temptation, fiend. I remember what happened the last time I dealt with a sloth demon. Well, Apparently that was the right thing to do because everybody agreed with it, and he died really, really, really easily. Come on, now attack that one. Boy, that was real challenging. Yeah, that I I totally should have taken the deal. Shit, what was I thinking? Fuck, kidding me. All right, well, let's see what's down here first, see if there's any more shifting barrel puzzles to cause demons to... No, there's absolutely nothing in here. Oh, man, I didn't even realize it until it was pointed out to me, but that definitely, that annoys me every... Oh, great, now we got another fucking barrel slidey puzzle. Um, I'm going to say red ones on the bottom non-red ones on the top, maybe? How about that? Or maybe if I put that down and that down? No? Red ones on the top then? Because, well, I'm noticing there's there's four red, three brown, three tan. So maybe if I get the four red on top of each other in the middle? Booyah! I rule. I'll take those, thank you. Oh! The solution was right there all along. Huh, 
Okay, in that case, let's see, is there a solution for this one around that I admit that I just didn't notice? No, there doesn't seem to be anything. So that one's just Oh, I'm getting this fucking Oh, that's what it No, god damn you! What the Yes! <laughs> I love entering the fade and getting stat boosts. And I can even put them where I want! Even even if I didn't, I could just buy one of those potions to rearrange all my stats, which is awesome. So, we're done down there. We got two two arrows. Well, I mean I noticed that there were two arrows, but it's just real it just occurred to me. Pride or desires? Let's go with desires, see if there's a nice hot desire demon in here. Oh, looks like I'm in this one alone. Or I'm going someplace the fuck. That's it, Fainriel. Hard on the downstroke, then lift. Good. I'll have you scribing all my letters soon. If I'd known you were such a great lad, I'd have brought you into the business years ago. Does that mean I can come with you to Antietam, Father? Mother said maybe this summer. Right, mother. Oh, snap the fuck out of it. That's not your father, Fainrail. It's a demon. And I'm definitely not your mother. A demon? No. No, I want this. Then remember this. It's Kutaku Wendem. Only thing you ever wanted. <laughs> Told you it was a desire yeah. demon. You turned him against me. I did. <laughs> you're a monster. And now you're going to die. Take away my pets, and I'll take away yours. How loyal are these friends you drag into the fame? I got justice on my side. That's what all I your need. What do to reclaim what she lost? You spent your whole life trying to be the Chevalier your father wanted. The one thing you chose for yourself, and the Dark Spawn took him. Wesley? Come back to me, love. Everything went wrong when we met this family of apostates. Kill her, and everything we lost will be restored. Don't you dare turn on me. You make one move. I'll take your bloody head off. Is that how a friend would speak to you? I failed you, Wesley. I failed myself. If that moment could be changed... <sighs> you want me come through her. Caress, eh? Nice name. <laughs> See, I'm not attacking her. I bet you take out the shades and she'll come back to normal. No, no, I gotta beat it out of her. Fine then. Double staff! <laughs> Fine, I lose you. Fuck it. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, of course. Who am I kidding? There's no loot in the fade. Okay, and I'm probably going to lose Wuss's bucket in the other side. Yeah, they're the least of the demons. I ain't concerned. <laughs> I'm definitely not concerned. Onward to the, to the pride. And now I'm going to not get transformed? I hope I didn't um, turn my tank into a uh, <laughs> into a fucking um, uh, to, uh, a tranquil <laughs> eh, who cares? She doesn't use magic as long as she still has the strength to take the blows of my enemies, I don't give a fuck Never really liked her that much anyway. Okay, empty, 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 empty. And of course, now I'm gonna transform into mother again, or am I gonna stay myself? 
Now I'm... My people. The fuck am I? I present to you our hope. His features may mark him as human, but in his heart beats the blood of the Dales. He came to us to learn his heritage, to release the power from a lineage as ancient as our race. Mm. I... I don't know what to say. She's a demon. That's not the Keeper, Fainriel. Demons can take on other forms. He lies. The first enchanter is a pawn of the Templars. No. Silence, demon. Weren't you? Keeper Marathari warned me of this. You're not the Keeper. Mother's people have no circle, but they don't consort with demons. <laughs> you. Why did you interfere? Because you're a demon. Only as your slave. There can be no honest deal with a demon. No. You think I will lie then when I offer your friends what Fainriel turned down? You think this slave would choose you over his freedom? Cast your eyes elsewhere, demon. I won my freedom from the Magisters long ago. But you fear them still. They have left their marks on your body and your mind. Curious with how this will go. Aid, you could be free forever. You could have power enough to challenge any who would chain you. Don't you fucking dare. I will beat you. Turn on me, Fenris. And you'll regret it. And thus you resort to threats. I have faced far worse than you. Oh? And he is so free to condemn others for the same sin. What would you want from me? A moment of your time. Nothing more. Well, I went in this in, went into this expecting that, expecting things to go that way. Holy shit! I just got fucking owned. God damn. Um, you've already used all your magic. Your magic is temporarily disabled. Of course, of course it is. No, oh, I think I'm gonna die here. Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna die here. Alright, well, hopefully it auto-saved outside of it. And no, I'm not taking a different path. I'm not gonna sweet-talk him, I'm not gonna sugarcoat him, I'm gonna fucking beat him. And I have no doubt that it doesn't matter who you bring along. Come on, blah 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 blah. She's a demon. Blah 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 blah. Only as your slave. Blah 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 blah. Don't you fucking dare. Blah 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 blah. Fine then. I'll take you out first, motherfucker. You gonna be like that? How you like me now, bitch? I knew bringing you along would be a good thing, Justice. I mean, fuck Anders, this is Justice that I brought along. Now let's see if there's anything in these places now. Or maybe that book that I read I on the first time through I haven't... No, because the doors are open, so I probably already read it. Yes. Alright, cool. Well... <coughs> time to get to the heart of the matter. All right, douchey. I can't spend another moment in this place. The screaming. Everywhere, all I hear are the nightmares of people dying, fleeing, gnawing their own arms off to escape. Justice? This is a world of monsters. And they all want me. Please, help me escape. Help me die. No, you won't die. If I kill you here, I only destroy your mind. You will become a tranquil. I was afraid of that for so long. I can't even remember why. To live. To sleep without dreaming. To never hear a demon's whisper. 
it is a blessing as great as standing at the Maker's side. Do it. Put the knife in my heart. No! You can master this talent, Fainrail. You don't have to let it destroy you. The Dalish do not have what I need. Perhaps to Vinter. If these powers can be trained, it would be there. I can do this. Yes. And you're going to come back and owe me big time. Alrighty. Fainrail has mastered his powers. Then he lives. You saved him. I Boy. cannot thank you enough. Why would I kill him? All I had to do was speak twice. May I return with you to the Sunderlands. I would like to ask for my son's forgiveness. Of course. It was you who chose to stay away. <coughs> the boy is safe. And there was talk of a reward. I truly did not think what you did was possible. You are a rare human indeed. Yeah, seriously. I'm sorry. I should have stood beside you. I don't expect that will be enough, but there it is. And I must apologize for my weakness. I would have thought myself above such influence. Yeah, don't you fucking I find forget there's it. there's nothing like being possessed to keep you on the straight and narrow. <laughs> Your friends awakened here some time ago. We all have weaknesses the demons find. You accomplished a miracle with Fainrail. Not really. This book belonged to the last dreamer of our tribe. It has a rare magic beyond price. Can I give it to Anders? Please, accept it with my gratitude. Do I have to sell it, or can I give it to Anders? Because I'd really like to give it to Anders. Because he's going to be made my mage throughout this. I really want to give it to Anders. Can I give it to Anders? Will you let me give it to Anders? Hey, you know that book that I just got? I want to give it to Anders. Blech. Fine, I'll just go sell it and shit. And fuck. Okay. Well, Anders, you proved your weight in goal. Wait, quest updated? Shouldn't it be quest completed? Oh yeah, so I can go to the docks for that. Oh, and this is where I'm gonna tell them they're bitches. I'm gonna do it too. I'm gonna straight up tell them, hey, you fucking failed me. Don't you forget. Don't think that I will ever forget that. Ooh, a crate. A moth-eaten scarf? Why, yes, I will take that. Thank you. I wonder, does Uncle Did still live out here? Yourself? I could ask you the same thing. I'm serious. To get out of slavery, to escape Daenerys. Don't tell me you never thought about it. I did not. To kill oneself is a sin in the eyes of the Maker. What? You believe that? I try to. Some things must be worse than slavery. Some things are worse than death. Let's see if Uncle's got anything interesting to say before I end the episode. Maybe I can just rub it into his face. Hey, Gamlin! So you're moving up in the world? Got some coin to share with your favorite uncle? Not after you fucked over my family, you turd! You can rot in here for all I care, and there's no reason for me to ever come back. Goodbye, you piece of shit. I wonder if my poisons would have worked in the fade. That would have been very silly. But no matter, we plowed through it easy enough, except for that one hiccup. And that was simply because Fenris is so fucking awesome that he totally owned me. Um, uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna be forgiving with them, considering they're the only two warriors in my party. Well, then again, hold on, let me, let me just check real quick. How's my relationship with you? Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. And abilities. Magic resistance. Boost crit damage. Yeah, I'll 
be nice to, I'm gonna be nice to him, but her on the other hand, I'm pretty sure that her rivalry is better. Damage resistance, or, oh Jesus. Wow, that's like really worth it. Damn. But no, no, I'm not gonna break character for that. I'm gonna be bitched to both of them. After all, they fucking turned on me. What was I? What was that arrow I saw? I was up here and there was like an arrow pointed to you. I'm sure you're just gonna blurb something and then be useless. But I might as well try, wait. Oh yeah, that's right, I rescued your something or other. Uh-huh. Alrighty, this has been your Funky Honky with Let's Play Dragon Age 2. Now looking even better than ever, ever with 30 solid frames per second. Oh, and if you're curious as to what I did, I took out the battery of my laptop and then held the power button for a solid minute. If you're having troubles with your laptop, you should try doing that. It really helps. Anyways, uh, stay tuned for episode 49, almost to 50. Damn, and I hope you'll see me next time.